Hey guys, welcome to Peachtree Positive. I'm super excited today. I got my new friend Rennie Kern here with me. Rennie, how are you, brother? Doing great, glad to be on. Now, for those 10 people out there in Atlanta who might not know who Rennie Kern is, three-time All-American, All-SEC, the Liberian Dream, Tennessee Titan, right here from Gwinnett County, Brookwood High School, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir, grew up right here, man. Uh, and it's an honor you know, to uh, be on the show and to uh, just be a part of the community. I am a product of so many people who poured into me, teachers, coaches, uh, pastors, chaplains, I mean, just that hometown kid. And so I love now being able to do what I do, um, taking what I learned from the football field, from my past experience, experiences of leadership, culture, performance, mindset, all those things and applying it to business. Yeah, I have had have had the good fortune to hear you speak before and it's just absolutely amazing. I just want to let the people know out there that, I mean, you have so much to offer beyond, you know, it's more than just a football story, more than even coming here as the son of immigrants yeah. from Liberia. You're, tell me about a little bit about your parents. My mother came here first. Uh, she came on a uh, scholarship to Emory and uh, she came to get her master's in nursing. And then my father came after she was finished getting her education. and. Um, he actually bought it to a shoe repair franchise. So his escape was entrepreneurship. And once they both started building themselves, that's when the war started. And a lot of my cousins, uncles, aunts, they were the ones they really got, trying to Yeah, they were, they were still stuck over there, yeah. right? That was a bad scene over there. Oh yeah, horrible scene. I mean, you're talking about over 200,000 people who lost their lives, a lot of children who lost their parents. Um, my grandparents became uh, a lot of their caretakers, so they had anywhere from 20 to 30 kids with them at a, at a given time. And my parents, built, uh, who built themselves in this country, created that bridge where they could help a lot of my cousins come to this country, uncles, aunts, like I said. Right. Our house was always full, always you know, a big pot of food just for everybody. So I got to see firsthand what it looked like to serve and, and just give back and be selfless and not just build yourself, but to fight for something bigger than yourself. Rennie, I, we're here in Peachtree Corners. It's beautiful, I see all these kids around. And one of the reasons I wanted to shoot here and one of the reasons I'm going to invite you, you don't know this, but I want to invite you. We got a new show called Corners Kids. Nice. It's hosted by kids. And I want you to bring your message to the kids here in Gwinnett County and stuff. And maybe we'll come out here on the green or something. You can work them out a little bit or yeah. something. We'll have some fun with that. I love that. Yeah. So, but, but you wrote a book with your daughter. What's that? Well, give us your, your daughter's name and, and the name of the book. Yeah. So her name is Ileana Curran. And the name of the book is What Does It Take to Be a Star? And actually, that, that book idea came to me. 4 a.m. in the morning, so just a dream of vision. And it was all about, you know, a young boy who goes on a journey to achieve his dreams. And he's curious about what does it take to be special in life, to be like any kid wants to be. Um, and so he goes throughout his city and he interviews basically all the people he looks up to, all the mentors, all the people who are stars. And instead of them telling him, him something about, you know, the surface level of success, you know, like work hard and all that, they give him uh, different character values. So one of them tells him about working hard while nobody's watching. One of them tells him about perseverance. A firefighter tells him about being a servant. You know, a doctor tells him about being respectful and caring of others. So it's more so about who you're becoming as a person. And the reason why I wanted to have my daughter a part of this is because it's going through our school, you read so many books, but nobody tells you that you can create one. You know, that you can become an author, that you can be out there speaking, wow. inspiring others. And so I wanted to get her to get that early experience. That's powerful, man. Yeah, of, of entrepreneurship, of, of learning how to, you know, be out there and exposing herself to others in a, in a positive way where she can learn that, hey, I can be a leader. I can create something. <laughs> and I feel like that's our greatest jobs as parents is to give our, our children that different perspective and let them know that, hey, you can do this. Like, it's not impossible. And make that normal. So yeah. now, like, writing a book for her is normal. And it's just a powerful concept for me and something that I'm so glad to have her a part of with me. Yeah, I, I think that's that's such, obviously you had amazing parents, you know, that instilled yeah. confidence and faith and so many things. And you, you're doing that for your daughter. I know for me personally, the same thing. My mom mm -hmm. told me I could be anybody I wanted to be. Right, right. She, she told me, don't quit, just always just give it your absolute best. Yeah. Leave it all on the field, mm -hmm. right? And then my dad, my dad was an event, he was in sales and advertising. Mm. But then he was an evangelist, you know, and worked with Billy Graham and wow. and uh, also worked with uh, uh, Nikki Cruz, you know, mm. crossing the switchblade. I'm, I'm dating myself now. But <laughs> but anyways, back in the day, you know, my dad goes, look, if you don't give it 100 percent out there on the field, right. you're not only cheating yourself. Yeah. You're cheating your team. Mm -hmm. You're cheating your family. Right. And most importantly, you're cheating God for the talent he gave you. So I totally agree. That's that's something that's uh, always motivated always motiv uh, motivated me and everything that I did was knowing that, you know, God gave me this gift. So my 
I give to him is to use it to the best of my ability. And if I don't use it, I, I truly believe that I'm going to wake up one day and it's going to be gone. You know, it's, it has an expiration date on it. If you own a business, maybe you're struggling, maybe you're successful, it doesn't matter. You need to bring this man by because I've learned so much from you just in the short time that I've known you. Super excited you joined us here today. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to having you come meet all the kids, man, on Corners Kids. Yeah, I look forward to it. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun with that. Definitely. I know I know the kids are gonna be super inspired by you. Yeah. Hope you bring your daughter out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna definitely get her out. So guys, again, check Rennie Kern out. Where can they find you online? Also online, my website is uh, RenieKern.com, R-E-N-N-I-E-C-U-R-R-A-N.com. And then uh, Instagram is Rennie Kern as well. Twitter, Rennie Kern 53 and all the other social media platforms is really current, so. Yeah. Okay, well check this guy out. He's yes, got sir. a great feed, great inspirational feed, business, sports, whatever you're into. He's got real life experience and real life applications to just take you to the top and make you 1%. So if you guys want to succeed, check this man out. All right, all thanks right. brother. Yes, sir. Take care. Thank you, man. All right.